2 cavity klystron amplifier is a low power microwave amplifier. Traveling wave tip amplifier is a high power microwave amplifier. Both are linear beam devices that means the electron beam is traveling in a straight line in the device. It is also called as O type device. Okay. Two cavity klystron amplifier uses resonant cavity structure. It has two cavities. One is buncher cavity. The next one is catcher cavity. Here the TWTA uses the non-resonant slow wave structure. There is no cavities used in this TWTA. Klystron amplifier is a narrow band device. TWTA is a wide bandwidth device. In this Klystron amplifier, the interaction of electron beam and the RF field occurs only at the cavities. There is no continuous interaction. But in this TWTA, the interaction of electron beam and RF field is continuous over the entire length of the tube. There is no coupling effect between cavities. Here there is a coupling effect in the slow wave structure. Slow wave structure means calyx structure. Okay, so there is a coupling effect between the electron beam and RF field. Okay, so here in this klystron amplifier, the wave is not propagating. But for this TWTA, the wave is propagating through calical structure. Okay, in two cavity klystron amplifier, bunching process takes place in the buncher cavity. But in this TWTA, there is no punching process. It has low output power. TWTA has high output power. The power gain of Klystron amplifier is 30 dB. For this TWTA, it is 60 dB. Okay, it is a high gain and high power microwave amplifier. The major applications of this two cavity Klystron amplifier are UHF that means ultra high frequency TV transmitters, radar transmitters. For this TWTA the applications are high power satellite transponder, broadband microwave amplifier, radar transmitter etc. Okay.